Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to talk about functional music and AI. Uh, this is powered by Endel. Please welcome the one and only Mr. Oleg Stavitsky. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Um, can we get the slides? Uh -uh, yeah. Oops. Sorry. Hold on a sec. Uh, yeah, there we go. Um, okay. Hi everyone, this is Sendal. Um, I'll, I'll explain a little bit about what we do, but a lot of people know us as a generative music company, generative AI music company, so the first thing I want to say is we come in peace, okay? Chill everyone. Yeah. <laughs> we're not here to steal your stems or your music or your artist identity. In fact, we're here to do exactly the opposite. Um, and you know, Usually I would begin these presentations by throwing some numbers at you about like how no one can concentrate these days, people are having trouble sleeping, you know, we know some people already, you know, Endel is helping with that, but like, do I really need to do this, right? Like, I mean, everyone has trouble with concentration, everyone has trouble with sleeping. Uh, these are kind of planetary challenges that we are facing as a society. And we all know that sound and music can help with that. And that is why, this whole situation uh, that we're, all, we're in as a society has given rise to the so-called functional music market. And when I say functional music, I mean all of this concentration, relaxation, meditation, sleep, playlists uh, on the DSPs, on all of the streaming platforms, right? Uh, this is a massive, massive, massive category, people. Uh, and if there's any artists out here, I would encourage you to look into this. So these are some numbers. A couple years ago, it was, it was estimated at five billion streams a month across all channels and platforms. It basically has tripled since then. So functional music is today estimated at 15 billion streams every month, right? Like it's a massive category that frankly, almost no artists are participating in. So most of that stuff is ocean sounds, rain sounds, white noise, dishwasher sounds, like literally that kind of stuff. And people listen to that. I mean, there's hundreds of millions of streams that this kinds of content is generating. So the way we're attacking this opportunity is we have built this proprietary, patented, scientifically validated technology that generates personalized, adaptive soundscapes that are designed to help you focus, relax, and sleep. And, uh, you know, what we do is we take inputs like heart rate, time of day, um, your movement, how much sleep did you get today, your chronotype, uh, your sex, your age, all of this information goes into our algorithm and it creates a soundscape in real time personalized to you. And, you know, this approach has been scientifically validated We've had, we've published peer-reviewed white paper studies in reputable scientific journals. As a matter of fact, actually there's literally people right now in Dresden University sleeping, you know, listening to Endel and wearing like EG headbands. So we're pretty serious about the science behind Endel. It's, it's not some mumbo jumbo, it's actually, it actually works. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm trying to say. And uh, again, to reiterate, right, like the, we are, we have built this proprietary, patented, scientifically validated uh, generative AI that creates functional music personalized to you. That's what we do. And you know, there's our soundscapes, uh, the ones that are the personalized soundscapes are available on our apps. And you know, you can go and download the app. There's going to be a QR code at the end of this presentation. Scan that QR code. It gives you, I think, one or three months of Endel for free. It's the best sleep you'll ever get. Thank me later. Uh, yeah, that's <laughs> at least you have that. But I'm not here to talk about the apps because that very same technology is powering our static releases that we're producing today. And you know. Back in 2020, we've had this idea of what would happen if we started inviting music artists and they would give us a stem pack and we would feed this stem pack into our algorithm and it would create a functional soundscape that would have like a clear DNA of that artist, right? Like, so we effectively we would have kind of a sleep or focus or relax version of your favorite artist music. And, you know, since then, we have worked with, the first, the first one was this uh, AI lullaby sleep soundscape with Grimes, which we have then followed by um, a deeper focus 
like a focus techno soundscape that we have built with the one and only Plastic Man. Uh, we have since then also worked with the Alan Watts organization on kind of a spoken word inspirational soundscape. There was a hiking and walking and running soundscape with this R&B uh, star Miguel. And then the last but not the least is a sleep kind of wind down soundscape with one of our favorite artists, James Blake. And I want to double click on the James Blake release because that's what we're going to be talking about today. So the James Blake soundscape premiered on our apps, right? Like it was first exclusively available on Andal apps, um, including our Apple TV app. But James was so in love with the result, he was like, can we release this as an album? Uh, we were like, sure. We would click a button, basically exported an hour of our algorithm playing, cut it into tracks, and delivered it back to Universal Music's uh, Republic for distribution. And it came out, and it made a lot of waves in the press. So much so that you know the New Yorker ran a profile on how the soundscape was created, and there was there was quite a lot of talk about a major artist releasing an algorithm essentially that was generated using AI, because that's what happened. And then I look at you know, streaming numbers uh, for that album, and you can see basically it, it kind of stabilized at almost 40%, and it continues going like this. So almost 40% of people who have tuned into this album on day one of its release are still listening to it. Today, actually, it's it's still going, right? Like, so it's been more than a year since the release of this album. This made me realize that when done right, functional music has incredibly long shelf life. Yeah, when, when people find something that works for them, that helps them go to sleep, they just listen to it religiously over and over and over again. So basically, this made us think: okay, you know, if hundreds of millions of people open YouTube, Spotify, Apple Music every day and they're searching for music that, that you know, helps them go to sleep or relax or concentrate, we should be there. And that basically what we started doing. We started collaborating with all kinds of artists, big and small, on creating functional soundscape versions of their music and releasing it as soundscape albums, as static soundscape albums on the DSPs, on streaming platforms. And you know, we've worked with Laraji, who's an ambient music legend. Uh, we've worked with K5. We've worked with, again, you know, um, Naila Hunter, who's this harpist from LA. So a really broad range of artists from like small, amazing new age artists from Los Angeles to, you know, EDM stars to ambient music OGs. And yeah, so that's, that's what we do today. And that's what we're focused on. And that, that is what this conversation is about. So how do we do this? And how can artists kind of benefit from, from what we do? How they can work with us? And it's not just some content, right? Like we're, it's scientifically engineered soundscapes produced with the click of a button. And our soundscapes are more efficient and more sticky than say, you know, a dishwasher sound playlist that, is, that people are listening to. So here's how the technology works. We take stems, uh, either pre-existing stems or we create stems in-house. We have um, a number of um, sound engineers and composers working in-house. We then do what is called stem multiplication. So basically our algorithm analyzes the source stems and it creates additional, it synthesizes additional stems. Uh, on the basis of these new stamps, of these original stamps. And it does that depending on which modality we're choosing. So we, we're saying something like, okay, give me a sleep stamp pack from these original stamps. And it basically synthesizes them. And from there, we go like, okay, now arrange this into a soundscape. And that is called an arranger. And then the soundscape is generated. And from there, what our sound engineers do, they, go, they listen to it and they go like, okay, no, I don't, I don't like it. Do it again. And again, and again. And then, for example, they go like, no, actually remove some of these stems because I don't like how they sound. And I'll now generate a soundscape again. So that's, and then that's, you can do that all day, every day. And then once you're happy with the result, you go like, okay, give me two hours of this now. And the algorithm exports a soundscape as a static recording that is two hour long. 
uh, which brings us to our partnership with Spinning Records, because that's exactly what we did and what we're currently in the process of doing. You know, there was, this partnership uh, was announced uh, earlier this week. So what we've done is we've basically, we took the stems from Spinning Records catalog and we have fed them into our algorithm and we have created over 50 soundscape albums for different functions. The first one is focus and sleep, but there's gonna be much more. Uh, I think we're dropping them every... Every week. Every week, yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's gonna be soundscapes uh, coming out every week until the end of this year, I guess, yeah. And then all of the soundscapes are gonna be arranged across four playlists designed for, di for different functions. So that's what we're doing with Speeding today. Um, there was announced this week, but this is, this is part of a broader partnership, broader strategic partnership with Warner Music. So you'll see us doing a lot with Warner Music, uh, re both creating new IPs and reimagining the music that is already, has already been released as these functional soundscapes. Which brings us to today, the, 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 the biggest um, world, the biggest music drop. Right. Sorry, am I, am I pronouncing this right? Yes. The big, yeah, <laughs> the biggest demo drop. Yeah. Uh, so what we did, what we're going to do is the, the four winners of this drop, uh, we're taking the stems from these tracks, and we're going to be creating a soundscape album that Spinning is going to release with us together. And I want to walk you through a production process of um, some of the tracks. Uh, what we what we did. So that's the original draft that we were given. Okay. And we took the stems from it. So I'm just gonna play the beat stem. And that's how it was reimagined by our algorithm. But like that's just, just the beat. And let me, let me explain you why it sounds like this. So that's the focus version of that track that was created by our algorithm. You'll, uh, you, you'll see that the sound, I mean, the vocals are almost not there. Uh, we will remove them. The beat is more steady because that helps me you kind of get into a zone. So there, we've removed all of the sharp sounds because they actually kind of distract you when you're trying to concentrate. So. That's how the focus version of that track sound. But just for fun, you know, we were like, okay, how would a sleep version of that sound? And so that's the same track that has been fed, the stems from which have been fed into our algorithm. That's the sleep version, and that's the relaxed version. So that's what we do, and that's how we work with artists, and that's how, as you can see, we're not you know, trying to train our model and then just go and run with the stamps and produce all kinds of stuff that the original, you know, producers are not participating in. Actually, it's the opposite. Like we're trying to help artists to break into this category that they would otherwise not have participated in. Um, thank you very much. That's the QR code that gives you and all for free. Um, yeah, so you can, you can scan that, but, and I'm happy to answer any questions that you may have. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so are there any questions already? Yeah, all right, okay. Can you catch? Uh, yeah, you can, mm -hmm. come on. Oh yeah, all right. In me. <laughs> um, no, this is so cool, by the way. I'm so excited to, to try it out. I was wondering, would you ever see this in maybe like a life setting in any way? Um, like, oh, sorry, a what? In a life setting, because like we're working with artists, like could it be a massive sleepover or something like that? <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, we, we we did a few of this, you but like did. yes. So we have worked with this amazing R&B artist called Black Six L A C K, and we have reimagined his last album since I have a lover as a sleep soundscape. And we did an event in LA where I think it was 400 people, 300 people just came together in a church and they just, you know, slept there for an hour. Yeah, and uh, yeah, so you can, you can expect us doing more of this kind yeah, of Yeah, I think that's actually the future, is like an, an, a, that people combine and everybody, you know, make yeah. it like a social event, like, uh, yeah, combine and sleep or you Social know, sleep like, session. Yeah, or concentrate yeah. session, or yeah. meditation, or yeah. something like that. So that's in your planning as well for, for live events in the future. Uh, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I can totally. And, you know, I think this also kind of 
poses the question of what is a, a, a live music event these days, right? Like, because yes, you know, a lot of these are you know, performances, but I mean, Black Six Six was there during this event, but he just came on stage. He said a few words. He was like, "Hey, everyone, I'm Black. You're gonna be you're gonna be listening to this soundscape right now. Peace." And then just kind of you know went off stage, and then the soundscape was playing. There was beautiful visuals. People were just no one left. People listened to it for an hour, slept, clapped, left. Yeah. So yeah, th maybe is that the future? A version yeah, of it? I, 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 can, I can't imagine. Yeah. Uh, well, you said it before also, but uh, uh, it, like visuals combining with the music is that also like a big part of, of what's next? Uh, there's there's a visualization component to all of our soundscapes on the app. You'll you'll notice that. I mean, there's a lot of care and love that goes into these soundscapes. Uh, I yeah, I'm afraid I cannot say a Ooh, ton about this. We got yeah. something special coming. But up. you know, there is there are certain devices that are coming uh, that are audiovisual. Um, yeah, so. Stay yeah, because uh, yeah. I have like Philips Hue at, at my home, like different color lights in, in, in my uh, living room. I could imagine it could be like amazing, like connected with like all the Google apps and, and stuff like that, and then create like a whole scenery in your eyes. Maybe I missed it, but is that also something you're, you're thinking about? You know, it's funny that you mention it because oh, when we were going through uh, an acceleration program in Los Angeles five years ago, uh, when we were just starting, we built a room there was Philips Hue and then the and Nest, and you would say, "Hey, I want to go to sleep now." And the lights yeah. would change, the temperature would change, the sound would change. Yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> okay, I'm really excited. <laughs> Any more questions from you guys? Yeah. Don't be shy. Mm -hmm. It's all right. Great track, by the way. Thank yeah. You. <laughs> <laughs> really loved it. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, we got something here. I will give you the cube. <laughs> Uh, after make it original one and you are making like sleep mode or more enjoyable mode, it's like you have more uh, three remixes with original songs, so you can use one of them the best and send them to uh, record label, I think. K kind of? You already yeah. have a three track and what? like sleep mode maybe, maybe fun mode, maybe yeah. chill mode. Yeah. And you can improve yourself with it. Yes. Because sometimes you start with music, you want more uh, like fun or something, but in the end it's more chill, and so you can see what what you can more maybe. I was thinking that's how we're thinking exactly how we're thinking about this. Yes. Yes. And but it's also not a track. There there are hour long soundscapes. There are of course cut into like three to five minute long tracks, but they flow kind of seamlessly into each other because. I mean, in order for this to work, you need to listen to it for like 20, 30, 40 yeah. minutes. So they're, they're not tracks. They're, it's, it's impossible to put someone to sleep with like a five minute long track. They're soundscapes. Yeah. yeah. All right, good question. Mm -hmm. Any more questions for you guys? <gasps> yeah, we got, can you throw it to her? I'm not gonna watch. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hmm. Hi. Hi. <laughs> That's loud. Um, no, I have a question that might be a bit more complicated. Because I am just Ooh. wondering, like, we are always stimulated, overstimulated, I would say. And that's why you come up with this. I also fall asleep with music a lot. But I'm thinking, if we listen and we have sound around us all the time, like, isn't when we sleep, like, the only time we have a break from that? So, like, what's the... I would say at its benefits or like what's the sciencey part behind it that it gives us more rest is kind of what I'm wondering. Like, does it really yeah. help us? Well, I say yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, if you want to be a bit nerdy about this, so basically yeah. if you, if you think about a sleep session, right, like it's actually divided into phases. There is the so-called wind down phase that is roughly an hour to two hours before you're even in bed. And this is where your so-called parasympathetic nervous system is supposed to get activated. And you know, it like brings your blood pressure down, relaxes your muscles, kind of prepares you for a sleep session. But in reality, you know, we're all staring at our phones and like we're all stressed and what happens is your parasympathetic, parasympathetic nervous system is not activated. Uh, but science tells us is that if you listen to so-called parasympathetic tones, which is just fancy science speak for relaxing music, it actually helps you activate um, this 
kind of your, your body and prepare it for a sleep session. That's the wind down phase. Then we move into so-called sleep onset phase. And this is the, the, the quality of that phase is characterized by how fast do you fall asleep, right? Like some people it takes five to 10 minutes, some people take 30, 40 minutes uh, on average. Uh, some people takes hours to fall asleep. We know for a fact that, that you know, nature, a combination of nature sounds and subtle melodic cues actually trains your brain to fall asleep faster. Like that's, it was that, that approach has been kind of given to us by a company called Sleep Score Labs. And the guy who's the, the main chief sleep scientist is the guy who designed the bedtime functionality of iPhone. So we trust him. Uh, and then there's the so-called sleep phase. And that is basically the quality of your sleep phase is measured by how many times do you, fall asleep, do you wake up during the night? The less, the better, obviously. And this is where our sleep soundscapes basically transition into a combination of colored noises, like white noise, brown noise, pink noise. They are mixed together. It's not music. It's, it's called sound masking. And the, the sole purpose of this is, you know, have you not waking up during the night, especially when there's like some harsh noise outside. We, we just, we just this, the sound masking approach helps you kind of not pay attention to that when you fall asleep. So, yeah, I mean, the science tells us that sound does help us fall asleep. Yeah, yeah. that's super and interesting. I'm just wondering then, I can 100% see the point with uh, when I look at my own experience, of course, with falling asleep, with falling asleep faster. And then I'm just also interested in um, when you're sleeping, like, does it not interfere with what you're supposed to be doing when you're sleeping? Was just like processing your whole day. <laughs> See, someone is just playing and oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can admit. I think you sleep a lot or not. Yeah, well, I get, well, I should what, sleep more to be honest. When you sleep, basically what you're supposed to be doing, you're supposed to stay asleep, right? Like that's the yeah. main purpose of it. And uh, yeah, you should not be listening. You know, like what people do is like they fall asleep with their TVs on because it's yeah. um, that's horrible because yeah. what happens is like your subconscious keeps analyzing what's being said on the TV like that's the worst thing like don't do that but having some sound masking on and when you're asleep science tells us it's fine cool. it's actually helpful yeah. thank you so much all right this great question any more questions from the audience no oh yeah my guess can you throw it I want to see it mm -hmm. yeah, almost oh, yeah almost oh. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm curious, I guess, are you guys the artists of the song that they play? So I'm curious what you guys think uh, <laughs> about this, like kind of the adapt, adapting of your music using technology like this and like what your thoughts are behind that. And also from the label perspective, I'm curious uh, what, what, what they think about this, this kind of potential in this technology. Can you throw it? Put you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> Put you on the spot. Yay. I like the track a lot. It's super... Yeah, super cool to see AI being used to like make my track different, I guess. Yeah, I mean, full disclosure, I think this is the first time you heard this, right? Yeah, this is my first we time. Because we were just given the stems and we just produced, it was produced yesterday. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah. So it's, it's super fresh. I mean, obviously the label is going to send this to you for approval, yeah. right? Like nothing can be released. <laughs> No, 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 but it sounded really cool. I'm definitely going to approve. But that, that's a good question. I think also, uh, then we go further. Royalty-wise, how does it work? The, the, does it, is it yours? Are you like the owner of, of, of the new song? Is it like shared? Is it like still the artist's song? How, how is the build up in that? I, I mean, I, I cannot really go into the details of this, but it's, it's, co it's basically, it's, it's a ref share. All right. Yeah, All right. right like, so All right. yeah, of course, yeah, we take a percentage, but... Yeah, the artists definitely benefit from having this released. Okay, yeah, that's, yeah. that's an honest yeah. question, I think. Yeah. Any more questions, guys? I got a, a question. I, I read a research uh, that also, like, soundscaping uh, can use commercially, like in shops or shopping malls, that they, uh, um, yeah, make you more viable. Is that something you guys think about as well or not? No, just because I don't, I wouldn't, touch that like oh, just, okay. I don't want people buying more shit like <laughs> I want people sleeping better you know I want people concentrating better that's for sure like buying somebody else can do that so it's for you it's like really the science behind it yeah. and uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. The, uh, get a better environment and get a better human being actually 
well-being. Yeah, yeah. exactly. We're yeah. a sound wellness company, right? Oh, like, yeah, so nice. yeah, we're, that's how we're thinking about ourselves, like a, a AI-powered sound wellness company. Yeah. So we, we, we're here to help people really feel better. Good, Not great. buy more. Mm -hmm. I'm really uh, inspired by this. I hope you guys uh, mm -hmm. as well. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, please give him a warm welcome. It's Oleg Stavetsky. Thank you. Mm -hmm.